Good morning viewers, uh, this is Dr. Hasib Oman, I am assistant professor in, at the Department of General Medicine at KMC Mangalore. Uh, today I will be talking about uh, what is, what do you understand by hypertension and today I will be answering all your questions, what common questions I come across in my clinical practice, especially with the patients asking, they have a lot of questions to uh, what is hypertension, other related hypertension related problems. So initially, we will start off with the uh, understanding of what is hypertension. In some, in simple terms, uh, hypertension means something like the one your blood pressure is way above 140 by 90. So this is where uh, the higher blood pressure, the higher reading is called the systolic BP, and the lower reading is called the diastolic BP. Now higher BP, what we call is the systolic BP, is when the heart is pumping, okay, or when the heart is contracting. Whereas, uh, when the heart relax, it is called as the diastole. So, whenever the heart pumps against resistance to the arterial system and the blood pressure shoots anything way beyond 140 by 90 milligram uh, hypertension. So, what are the causes of hypertension? Causes of hypertension can be the way of life how you are leading as of now. It can be various things, the day to day, daily life stress. Uh, stress, obesity, overweight, your sedentary lifestyle and smoking, smoking and lack of exercise. Okay. These are the most very common causes of hypertension. Other causes like your other habits including excessive alcohol intake and having, uh, having uh, kidney related problems, what we call as a chronic kidney disease, chronic kidney disease, anemia. Okay, these are the things which can cause hypertension. And also we are going to be under trying to understand what are the symptoms of hypertension. Most of the patients with the hypertension are not symptomatic. 50 percent of the patients would not be realizing they have got hypertension. But some do experience uh, symptoms of hypertension which commonly are experienced by people are some have severe headache some people experience dizziness or come with blurring of vision or they also have complain of chest heaviness or chest pain. Okay. These are the symptoms commonly they come across in patients with hypertension. So, these are the signs we are going to look for in hypertension. Today, I will be answering few of your common questions which I have come across in my clinic practice. So, the first question what most commonly encountered uh, is due to day to day practices. Do I have to take uh, blood pressure medications lifelong? This is the most common question. Once they come to know they are diagnosed to have hypertension, do they have to take this medicines lifelong? And taking this, uh, does the blood, the, once the blood pressure is under control, do I have to still continue taking uh, uh, blood pressure medications? So, blood pressure is something that you can always control cannot be as such as cured, but can be controlled by taking medication the way of lifestyle by reducing your salt intake, daily regular exercise and reducing your weight and day to day taking medications on time. That is the most important thing what we are supposed to do. Most of them take medications, but they will be taking medication in the morning. It, today, for example, they are taking 8 o'clock in the morning, the next day either they have forgotten to take or they skip the tablet or some people even try doing things like taking medication today and they will skip it for one, two days and then when they experience headache or some other symptoms like chest pain, they take the medication that day or they themselves taper the medication, take half tablet in the morning or half tablet in the night. So, as per my advice, it is better to take medication on a regular basis because it is like uh, initially once you develop, once you are diagnosed to have hypertension, most of them do not have symptoms. So, when uh, this already we do not know how long it has been, you have already developed hypertension and other com uh, and complications are already set in related to hypertension. It is like owning a new car, you know, and you drive the car. Uh, for a long, for one, three years you drive the car however you want, how many number of people or drive it excessively, nothing is going to happen because your condition of the car is in a better shape. If you are not going to take care of your car, of course the car is going to break down, 
So, tires needs to be placed, suspension needs to be placed. Same way our body is also like a vehicle. So, if you do not take care of your body, it is going to affect your kidney, your eyes, it is going to affect your heart. These are the common things. So, to avoid these complications, we need to continue taking medicines on a regular basis to avoid complications. I have checked my blood pressure and I am taking my medications, it has turned out to be normal. Now, I am fearing that continuing to take medication, my blood pressure will be going very low. So, I have stopped taking medication and I have found out now that I have my blood pressure is on a higher side. So, it is uh, simple, if you stop the medicines, definitely your blood pressure is going to go up and it is something like, uh, if you st uh, continue to take your blood pressure is going to be very low. Uh, or it is going to be become low, nothing like that. It is like you are having a heater in your house. If you have a heater in your house, you have switched on the heater and you have forgotten to switch it on, you are watching TV and forgot to switch it off. Whenever the temperature reaches a particular set point, the thermostat is going to switch off and then it is not going to be taking more of power. Same way our body is designed in a such a way that once your blood pressure comes to your normal limit, after that, after that, the medications or the effect of the medication comes to a halt. So, definitely you need to check your blood pressure. If you have experiencing any symptoms like when you wake up and suddenly, suddenly when you stand up you are feeling giddiness, something like that, please consult your doctor immediately and check your blood pressure if it is going below less than 90 by 60 milligram of mercury. The other common question what I have seen is, uh, I have uh, come across is uh, what happens if I, uh, what happens if I do not take my medications and my blood pressure continues to be on a higher side. So, if you continue to do so, you, if you continue to do so without not, without taking medication and your blood pressure is shooting up very high, you are going to in fact uh, affect and in fact compromise things, compromise your heart, your kidney, your eyes and your peripheral, uh, peripheral arteries these are going to be affected because of the high blood pressure, it can cause complications like it can in the eyes you can develop retinopathy, it can lead to blindness and it can affect your heart, uh, it can affect your heart, it can increase the muscle mass or the remodeling of heart, the heart becomes enlarged or it becomes big, it can affect your pumping capacity, okay, patient can develop chest pain, breathlessness. It can affect your kidney, what we commonly see is a proteinuria, there is a protein leak and you have seen, you must have come across the patients who are undergoing dialysis, lot of patients are undergoing dialysis, they have a kidney disease, why? Because they have never bothered to control their blood pressure, okay, 4 or 5 years they have not been taking medication regularly and then one day they found out that their creatinine or their they have developed a kidney disease and then they are all set to take medications, but it is too late. So, always better to take your medications on a daily basis, regular basis and please continue to consult your doctor and check your blood pressure regularly and always evaluate your eyes. Once you are diagnosed with hypertension, evaluate, get your eyes checked every year. Once if it is normal, every year please check your eyes, uh, consult your ophthalmologist, get your eyes checked and uh, have a regular blood pressure checkup, have a good healthy eating habit, avoid habits like uh, smoking, alcoholism and uh, yeah, having overweight, do regular exercise, uh, regular exercise that would be indeed helpful. So, I think uh, I have answered uh, a couple of your questions what I have come across and I will be signing off from here now. Thank you so much and uh, have a wonderful day.